Uh, there are other ways to make uh, alcohols into good leaving groups. Um, so again, just to review, right? If you have an alcohol, um, it's not just going to go undergo either SN2, E1, any really real reaction uh, by itself, right? And that's because this hydroxide is not a good leaving group. And so this pathway essentially just does not occur. However, we can make it a good leaving group. Um, and one of the ways to use this is to use tosylates. So in this case, we're going to use uh, paratoluene sulfonyl chloride. which looks like this. Right, and we'll see how we use this to make it a good leaving group. And so first off, we have our alcohol. And so what our alcohol is going to do is nucleophilically attack this sulfur and then this chloride group is going to get kicked out. And then we'll form what's known as this OTS group where this TS stands for this whole tosylate part. This up here is TSCL, right? You can abbreviate it that way. The TS stands for the tosylate part. The chloride stands for the chloride part, obviously. And we're still protonated here. And so we'll use TSCL along with some pyridine. And so remember what pyridine looks like. It's this base set benzene ring with a nitrogen, essentially. This can then deprotonate this group right here to form our neutral tosylate. And then this right here is a great leaving group. If we think about its structure as a leaving group, it's going to look like this. And so this negative charge can resonate all throughout the molecule, making it very stable by itself and thus a good leaving group. And so at this point, you can do a bunch of different reactions with this tosylate. Um, if you add some kind of nucleophile, maybe say like a bromide, you'll undergo this SN2 reaction because it's a strong nucleophile. You can also add a weak nucleophile to go through an SN1 or an E1 pathway if you'd like. If you add some kind of sodium hydroxide and heat it, right, the heat will help push it towards uh, the E2 pathway. Or maybe you can use a bulky base to push it towards the less substituted alkene. So as you can see, alcohols are also synthetically useful. Um, and this next section, we'll start using some of our reactions, comboing them into make in order to make new products.